The last thing I want to challenge you on right now is that happiness is not just for others. It's not for others. The other side of the track, those with the, they're taller, they're lighter skin, they have greater complexion, and, and butter wouldn't melt in their mouth, and it's just, it's those guys, the lucky, the lucky few. And what happens is when we put people on a pedestal, we actually give ourselves an excuse. I wasn't born in the right family, I wasn't born on the right side of the tracks, and I, I can attest all that. Okay? I, I've told a story one time, you know, of, of my coming to America, getting run over by a car when I'm 19 years old on a motorcycle accident, being brought to a hospital, my bone sticking out of my leg, I'm 7,000 miles away from home. They, they say, oh, you don't have medical insurance. They put me back on the ambulance. They bring me to the, where they were treating prisoners at the time, a UCSD medical center here in San Diego. You know, and that's where I started. And I started with all this debt and all these bills and all these circumstances as a very young man, no one, nobody. And I remember a guy came and told me one time, he goes, you know, Brian, I, said, I can see where you got your drive from. I can see how it works for you. He says, look, I, I grew up in a, in a middle-class family. My, my dad had a good job. My mom was a teacher. They're still married. I, I get along real well with my brothers and sisters. I, I graduated high, in high school. I did real well in college. And, and so now I'm in real estate, and I'm really struggling. I just, I, I just didn't have the situation like you had. And that's why I'm not successful. I go, so let me get this right. You're not successful because you didn't have... A, a, a medical emergency that transformed your life. I said, well, let's go in the parking lot right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll reverse over you a couple of times. The greatest motivational speech of your life. Well, he was trying to say, oh, I can see why you're successful, but that's not for me. I'm like, hey, I, I'm supposed to have a different story than you. You have your story. Your story is for you. Your happiness is for you. And by the way, when you embrace happiness, It is infectious. It will affect people around you. Sometimes it'll affect them negatively in the short term. But when you're committed to it, when you're tough in your happiness, when you're committed in your happiness, and it's a true attitude of the mind and the heart, it's like a pebble on a pond, and it has many, many ripples. The great Oprah Winfrey, who had a very tough early childhood and life, and I, I don't know if you've heard, she's done pretty well. <laughs> She's got a quote that says, there's a difference between thinking you deserve to be happy and knowing you are worthy to be happy in your own value and how you see yourself.